Well, it's been eight or nine months now that the Kawasaki's been on the road, and I have to say I'm, I'm really chuffed with it, how it's going. It seems to be going really well. Maybe I shouldn't talk that up because, um, you know, don't want to talk a problem up, but it just seems to be going really well. It's been running ever so slightly lean, I think. Um, I've just... Uh, Try to change things here and there to improve it. I'll, try, I'll, I'll insert a picture of a, a spark plug that's been in about 100 miles, so you can see what you think of that. Anybody got any comments on how you think it's running from the look of the spark plug? Let me know. But otherwise, um, everything just seems to be going great. A day like today as well, you know, beautiful day for a motorcycle ride. But anyway, I'm going to talk about something today, which is the front brake master cylinder. Because um, I've got a cheap pattern part on here that got me through the MOT, but I don't think the braking force of it is really very good. And um, so I've had the original um, re-sleeved, which I'll talk about uh, in the next segment. So turning to this issue of the front brake master cylinder, when I got the bike, the front brake master cylinder was really corroded and it was leaking and the bore of the, the cylinder was really scored and no good but I found a company that re-sleeves them in stainless steel it's quite near where I live in Bury St Edmunds actually called passparts.co.uk I don't know if you can see down there or not but maybe you can't but they've re-sleeved it in stainless and uh, you know, fixes it perfectly. So the braking uh, force applied by this pattern part really wasn't the same. I mean, I don't know if you can see, just look at the dimensions, the difference in size of the two pieces. You can see this is a much more substantial, um, you know, cylinder. And uh, something to be cautious of is a lot of these are sold for single cylinder, uh, for single disc uh, brakes, but the Kawasaki's twin disc, so you've got to be careful about that. Uh, I'm not sure to be honest, although this one was sold as suitable for twin disc, I'm not sure how different it really is from the ones they were saying uh, that were for single disc only. But anyway, it's got me through the MOT and the braking on it is such that you're, you're never going to lock up the front wheel and throw yourself off um, but I think the original part hopefully will work a lot better so maybe that's going to be a winter time job putting uh, this part back on there so we'll see how we go